work on process engineering. In particular, I work on the synthesis and processing of ceramics. I work on hydrogen generation and on the combustion of nitrogen-based fuels. In the area of ceramics, I work on the development of nanofibers with special architectures, like porosity, like having them hollow, or in flat architecture. The breakthrough in the field of hydrogen generation that we made is based on the development of a new way to separate the hydrogen formation from the oxygen formation, both in space and in time. And the way that we did it is by developing special electrodes that are able to charge during the hydrogen generation, which is done under power. And then in a second separate step, these electrodes discharge in a chemical way, releasing oxygen without any power consumption. Consequently, we save about 25% in the power when we generate hydrogen. In addition, the system that we develop does not require any membrane or separator in between the anode and the cathode. This simplifies the process considerably, so it lowers the capex and it saves on the operational cost because we use less electrical power to generate the hydrogen. Another factor here is that our operation is considerably safer than the commercial electrolyzers because we never generate the two gases in the same place at the same time. At the beginning of 2019, we launched a company called H2Pro to commercialize the technology that we have invented. For the first half a year, we worked right here in this laboratory where we designed and built the first demo system. Following this first milestone, we moved to our permanent location in Kesaria, where we're currently employing more than 20 people. And our goal is to be with a commercial unit by the end of 2022. This unit will generate 500 kilos of hydrogen a day, which is the base unit for future hydrogen refueling stations for automobiles. The GTEP has become the cradle of cooperation at Technion, bringing together faculty members and students from different departments, putting them on common grounds in a shared laboratory space. Without a doubt that GTEP is what made this research on hydrogen possible on campus and brought this technology into fruition.